scientists discover a secret continent that's been hiding under our noses for millions of years. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know? and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. At a prestigious university in the Netherlands, a team of researchers are hard at work collecting data from around the world. For 10 years, they've been slowly piecing together the geological history of the Mediterranean, trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle. And now they've reached a stunning conclusion. A lost continent is lurking somewhere beneath the Earth. Using cutting-edge software, the team had been building up a picture of a landmass they dubbed Greater Adria. Now, this was a continent that existed millions of years ago, once being part of the ancient landmass known as Gondwana, but it drifted away from North Africa back in the Triassic period before the dinosaurs. And eventually, for hundreds of millennia, nobody knew that it had ever even existed. However, that changed in the late 2000s, when the University of Utrecht began to analyze the erratic geology of the Mediterranean. Using magnetic traces and ancient rock, they were able to track the paths of Earth's shifting tectonic plates. And slowly, a fascinating story began to emerge. According to their research, the lost continent of Greater Adria disappeared some 120 to 100 million years ago. And today, only traces of the great landmass can arguably be seen. Now a paper has been released that makes some astonishing claims. Have the ruins of an eighth continent been hiding beneath our feet all along? Currently, there's a consensus that the world is split into seven continents – Australia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Asia, and Antarctica. However, the surface of the Earth hasn't always looked that way. In fact, hundreds of millions of years ago, the land masses that make up our planet had an entirely different form. Back in the Paleozoic era, 542 to 251 million years ago, most of the land that would become today's continents was one mass, known as Pangaea. It covered approximately one-third of the surface of the Earth. However, it began to separate some 175 million years ago, towards the beginning of the Mesozoic era. As the Earth's plates shifted and Pangaea broke apart, two new continents were formed in its place. In the north, Laurasia was born, comprising the land masses that today make up North America, Asia, and Europe. Meanwhile, in the south, the vast region known as Gondwana took shape. Let's find out more. Well, ultimately, Gondwana became the largest landmass on Earth, covering almost 40 million square miles. But over time, that too broke apart. And eventually, the modern continents of Antarctica, Africa, South America, and Australia were formed. However, some believe that there's little more to this narrative than meets the eye. In fact, there's evidence to suggest that the seven modern continents are not alone. Might other land masses have split off from Laurasia and Gondwana, only to remain undetected for millions of years? According to some researchers, this could be the case. And now these lost regions are finally rearing their heads. Back in January 2017, a team of researchers from the University of the Witwatersrand in South Africa announced a fascinating discovery. Apparently, they have been studying minerals left behind after a volcanic eruption on Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. But to their surprise, they soon realized that the material was far older than the island's native rocks. In fact, the team believed that the rocks were more than 3 billion years old. And this is despite the fact that Mauritius only formed 9 million years ago. So how did such an ancient mineral come to be discovered on a relatively modern island? According to researchers, they are actually relics from a lost continent buried beneath the Indian Ocean. Dubbed Mauritia, it is believed that this newly discovered landmass was once part of Gondwana. In fact, Professor Louis Ashwal claims that it is just one of many pieces that have yet to be discovered. And if he's right, that means that there could be any number of lost lands scattered across the Indian Ocean. The breakup did not involve a simple splitting up of the ancient continent of Gondwana, Professor Ashwal explained in a 2017 interview with CNN. In fact, he argued that a complex splintering took place with fragments of continental crust of variable sizes left adrift within the evolving Indian Ocean basin. At the time, some critics argued that the minerals may have reached Mauritius in another way. For example, they could have been carried in by weather systems or unknowingly brought to the island by human visitors. However, Professor Ashwal insists that the rocks came from an ancient continental crust. 
Interestingly, that wasn't the only time the Lost Continents made the news in 2017. Perhaps you've guessed it, because eight months later, researchers from New Zealand's University of Otago made another startling announcement. Apparently, they had concluded a period of research on the submerged landmass known as Zealandia, with exciting results. So perhaps a geographical divide between New Zealand and Australia was about to emerge. Back in 1995, scientists proposed that Zealandia, located beneath the Pacific Ocean, might be a continent itself. And in September 2017, the team from the University of Otago published a paper in support of this theory. According to their research, the region broke off from what is now Australia some 85 million years ago. For more than 20 million years, researchers believe Zealandia has been almost completely submerged. But even though it covers almost 2 million square miles, it's yet to be officially recognized as a continent. However, if this latest research is anything to go by, it seems only a matter of time before it is. But Mauritia and Zealandia aren't the only contenders vying for the title of 8th continent. For in September 2019, a team of researchers from Utrecht University published a study that uncovered a new mystery. Apparently, they discovered a new lost land, this time dubbed Greater Adria. And this was perhaps now Europe's chance to take the limelight in the history of world geography. Featured in the scientific journal Gondwana Research, the study is the result of 10 years' work. Initially, researchers were drawn to the Mediterranean region because of its unique geological terrain. But when they took a closer look, they discovered more than any of them had bargained for. So let's find out more. In other parts of the world, the Earth's plates do not deform when they rub up against each other. However, in the Mediterranean, things are different. Or as Dow Van Hinsburg, the study leader, told CNN in September 2019, it's quite simply a geological mess. Everything is curved, broken, and stacked. Previously, some researchers had suspected that the chaotic landscape of the Mediterranean might be concealing the remains of a lost continent, but conducting research was no easy matter. In fact, it was believed that the relics were scattered across as many as 30 different countries, and in each one they had their own way of doing things. Before Van Hinsbergen and his team embarked on their project, Greater Adria already existed as a concept. However, there had been no collective effort to study the lost continent. Instead, a number of competing techniques, maps, and models existed around the world. And in many places, the hypothetical landmass even went by a different name. So how did researchers build up a complete picture of the evolution of the Mediterranean over the eras? For an entire decade, Van Hinsbergen and his team dedicated themselves to aggregating scientific data from across the region. And after looking at some 2,300 locations across Western Asia, Europe, and North Africa, they came to a startling conclusion. According to Business Insider, the team used a complex methodology to help them track the movements of the Earth's crust. Apparently, lava erupting at the edges of tectonic plates captures rocks as it cools. And these rocks, containing magnetic minerals, are locked in position. Confused at all? Well, let's keep going. In practical terms, this allows scientists digging up the magnetic rocks to calculate where they were located millions of years ago. And by plugging this data into special software, they can simulate the movement of the Earth's plates. Over time, work like this has revealed the incredible story of Greater Adria and how it disappeared. According to Van Hinsburg and his team, Greater Adria was once part of Pangaea, the supercontinent that spawned the modern Earth. However, around 220 million years ago, when Pangaea had already broken in two, it separated from one of the resulting landmasses, Gondwana. And 40 million years later, it broke away from what would later become Spain and France, becoming its own continent. Currently, researchers are unsure exactly what Greater Adria looked like in its prime. However, Van Hinsenberg suspects it was mostly submerged 140 million years ago, with a string of islands peaking above the surface. But then, between 20 and 40 million years later, the Earth began to rumble, sounding the death knell for this continent. Somewhere between 120 and 100 million years ago, the planet's tectonic plates shifted, and in the chaos, Greater Adria found itself pushed against the landmass that would later become Southern Europe. But instead of colliding, the former dipped down beneath the latter, vanishing beneath the Earth's crust. So the theory goes. However, this process did not mean that Greater Adria disappeared completely. Instead, researchers believe that the top layer of the continent simply peeled off as one landmass slid beneath the other. In a September 2019 interview with Business Insider, Van Hinsbergen explained the effect with an interesting analogy. Suppose you have a sweater on, the tectonics expert began, 
He then explained that moving your arm under a table results in the jumper sleeve lifting upwards in the opposite direction. Indeed, the sleeve would be the equivalent of the upper few kilometers of Adria's crust, and your arm is the plate that's now sinking in the mantle, hundreds or even thousands of kilometers below our feet. What's more, as a result of this process, mountain ranges formed that are still visible to this day. And Van Hinsbergen told Business Insider that such a process resulted in mountain belts like the Apennines in Italy. Crucially, though, experts believe that this subduction did not just happen in one place. In fact, they've suggested that the process occurred in multiple locations across southern Europe. So, in addition to mountain ranges across Italy, the Balkans, and Greece, Greater Adria could also account for sections of the Himalayas and Alps. Indeed, National Geographic likened it to a wreckage dumped onto overlying plates. From this mapping emerged the picture of Greater Adria and several smaller continental blocks, too which now form parts of Romania, North Turkey, or Armenia, for example," Van Hinsbergen told CNN. The deformed remnants of the top few kilometers of the lost continent can still be seen in the mountain ranges. The rest of the continental plate, which was about 100 kilometers thick, plunged under southern Europe into the Earth's mantle. However, experts believe that the Mediterranean's mountain ranges are not the only relics of Greater Adria that can be seen today. In fact, it's thought that some small sections of the continent escaped from the subduction process. And as time passed, these remains came to form parts of Southeast Italy and Northwest Croatia. In fact, some of the modern regions that were once part of Greater Adria now arguably form some popular tourist destinations. But for now, at least, most visitors to places like Venice and the Adriatic coast remain unaware. Might that now change thanks to the work of Van Hinsbergen and his team? Now, the software used in this research, known as G-Plates, has apparently become more reliable over the past 15 years. And according to Van Hinsbergen, its simulations are vital to understanding our planet's geological history. Through this, he believes, we can learn more about the Earth as it is today. Everything that you see around you that wasn't wood or cloth was found by a geologist in a mountain," said Van Hinsbergen to National Geographic. In fact, some of these minerals are now deemed essential to modern life. And with studies such as this, we can determine with greater accuracy where they might be found. Using the models created by software such as G-Plates, researchers can play back millennia's worth of geological activity. And if something valuable has been detected in one place, they may be able to find another remnant of it elsewhere. Remarkably, this can even be the case when the rocks have shifted to the other side of the world. Effectively, then, researchers like Van Hinsbergen are creating the treasure maps of the modern era. Metals, ceramics, building materials, everything came out of rock, he told Business Insider. You don't find the next copper mine or the next 25 materials you've never heard of that make your iPhone work by taking a stroll in the woods. But while the technology no doubt has exciting implications, the discover of Greater Adria has been more than enough for now. In fact, according to National Geographic, even the team behind G-Plates has praised the research as a monumental undertaking. Meanwhile, could it be only a matter of time before scientists discover another lost continent in our midst?